so I messed up. Moving in Florida is not fun. Well, this sucks. Christian set up the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Hi, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. This is going to be the first of, I think, two moving vlogs. It's Thursday and then tomorrow's Friday. And then Saturday is when the movers come to pick up all the stuff. So I think I'm going to vlog today and tomorrow and then start a new vlog Saturday morning. I'm off of work today, tomorrow, and Monday, and obviously Saturday and Sunday because I work Monday through Friday, nine to five. But I am so excited to be off of work for one and two, to be moving into our new place. By the time you are seeing this video, the empty apartment tour will already be up. So I will link that video down below. Definitely check it out. Um, so I can finally show you part of what I'm doing in the new place. When I was packing up this past weekend, I couldn't really show because I wanted the empty apartment tour to be up. So I wasn't really showing all of the stuff inside the apartment or what I was doing and how it was coming along over there. I was just showing it over here. So now I can kind of mix them because now you guys have already seen the empty apartment tour. So I wanted to make sure that video was up before I showed anything inside the new apartment. But today's Thursday, I'm gonna start packing up more stuff today. Christian and I have gradually taken stuff to the new apartment. If you don't already know, Christian is my boyfriend. We live together and we have lived together for the past year in this apartment and we are moving to a new apartment together. So um, it's kind of bittersweet in a way because this is our first apartment and I feel like we'll always remember this first apartment together and I'm so glad I have videos in this apartment and memories in this apartment that I can just take with me and always look back on. So that's what I love about YouTube. It's nice to document certain times of my life and have those videos and memories forever. So Christian and I were on the phone with AT&T for four and a half hours this morning. Is it four and a half hours? Almost five hours this morning. We start got on the phone at 8.30 and it's 1.30 now. So. We were on the phone with them for a very long time. It was just stressful, aggravating, it was agitating. I was just ready for everything to be set up and good to go. It's just a long process. So everything's good to go, everything's set up, and I think that we are good to go when we get into the apartment and are officially there on Saturday. We got the keys this past Sunday. If you missed my last packing vlog, not the empty apartment tour, but the packing vlog, I told you guys that we got the keys on Sunday. We've been just slowly moving stuff in Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and continuing in to today. So I'm gonna pack up this cabinet right here. This are glass stuff, these bowls, and leave the plastic ones here for like a last minute move so i'm gonna start packing up all the glass stuff and leave the plastic stuff here for the next i guess two days and um i'm gonna pack some other stuff and then i'm gonna start with that stuff i actually saved i literally came in the clip with my address showing i saved the crate and barrel box in our extra bedroom in the closet in there i saved it for two months because I had a feeling, well, actually I knew that we were moving I think two months ago or we were thinking about moving to the new place two months ago. So I just ended up saving it just in case so that way I could reuse the box and reuse the bubble wrap and the paper and stuff in it. So that way I don't have to go through as many boxes or purchase as many boxes. So I'm really glad I ended up saving that. So I'm just gonna put all of the glass stuff in this box. I don't know if I need these little boxes. I think it'd be a little bit of overkill to use those boxes as well.
This is why moving in Florida is not fun during the summertime. It's about to downpour, so I'm scared to start packing up the car if it's just gonna pour on me. I just finished packing up these boxes and that, and now I think I'm gonna head over to the new apartment and take some of those boxes up and over and I'll bring you guys along. I'm gonna try and beat the rain and bring some boxes over. So, wish me luck. boxes but I took I took five boxes down and I took five trips and I'm only taking two trips up to here with this wagon I can't use the wagon at my other apartment to condense it because there's no elevator there's only stairs so regardless I'm taking more trips down to the car but bringing it all up is a lot easier instead of like running down grabbing it you know Okay, I'm gonna run back down to the car and grab that stuff. There's a dog. I don't know where it lives or which like unit it lives in, but the wagon squeaks when it has some weight on it and it, every time I go by, it's like going crazy barking at me. I'm just like, sorry, sorry. Can you see that? so nice we have a brita at the other apartment and refilling it <laughs> was a little tedious and this water bottle is a half gallon so it's really tedious when filling up this water bottle so it's gonna be nice having this so we don't have to refill it. Christian is working. That's why I'm basically doing this by myself. He's gonna work from home tomorrow. He just has conference calls tomorrow and stuff like that. I might start unloading some of the boxes. I wish I had hand soap. I should have brought some. I have hand sanitizer in my car, but um, I'm just trying to decide where I want stuff. I think I'm gonna put plates in here. I think I'm gonna put spices in here. Did I bring that stuff? All right, I think this is the spices. And I wanna bring some of these boxes back to rehab stuff in. Yeah. So here's this. Oh, this is perfect for one, but like, what about the other? The spice rack fits perfectly in here, but this is too high for another one. It doesn't do any good. I'm gonna come out to there. Is there any 
just makes me so control away. because my silverware is in one of these too. Okay, I went to Target as you saw and these actually, the baskets that I bought came in handy so I didn't have to use any grocery bags. But I got some, not this, this is my tripod. I got some little, what are they called? Drawer organizers. I also got that, which I did not need. This marble tray, which is gorgeous. I was thinking about putting it in the bathroom. So pretty. I, I looked at it a few months ago and was like, no, you don't need it. But I saw it again and I was like, you know what? Let's just get it. So, and then I got two baskets. Because, so... These are the cabinets that we're using for candles and stuff like this. We used to have a little nook in our old apartment where we kept all this stuff and now we don't. I'm gonna use those baskets to organize the candles and all this stuff so that way it looks a little bit better than this. So I got these for Cabinets. Let me see if they even fit in the cabinets. Definitely looks a lot better than it being cluttered, right? I think so. Power is out at the apartment. So Starbucks it is. Got a venti iced coffee with almond milk, that's it. We have a long day of moving ahead. I hope that the power comes back on soon so that way I can do some stuff but yeah and it doesn't help that it's gloomy outside but we're making the best of it so I messed up and our rent overlapped or our leases overlapped for five five days and our power is out because of me not because of <laughs> an outage in the area. It's out because this is the day that it was cutting off. So we're packing in the dark. I'm waiting for OUC customer service to call me and see if there's anything that they can do to see if they can turn it back on for the rest of the day. I don't know what we're gonna do tonight if they can't turn the power back on for the day. We might move a mattress or I don't know, but. It's my fault and I'll take take ownership for it. Just finished packing up all of my clothes. And then I have to grab that stuff and then the shoes and the hangers and then all that stuff and this stuff too. But there's I, didn't, I never realized how many clothes I have until I move them. There's just a lot of them. Okay, we have power. Here is all the progress from the closet and the bathroom. It's a disaster in here. And I feel like I've been saying that for the past week, but it really is, so. We're gonna bring probably all of our clothes over 
or at least pack them all in my car or try to and then go get lunch and then drop the stuff off and continue to make trips and then basically after this stuff it's just little things and then after that it's just all the big stuff so we're making progress I have the dishwasher going because there's dirty dishes the lights are back on, the power is back on until Monday and I have to call Monday to get it turned back off, but yeah. Christian set up the Wi-Fi. <laughs> That's our new Wi-Fi name. The last one was No Shot Bucko. So we're getting more creative. I've been trying to figure out how to organize the closet. We unfortunately had to split our closet. So I have to go into, or I guess separate our closets. So I have my own in the extra bedroom because I do get ready in the extra bathroom for work so it kind of makes sense to have my stuff in here and then Christian has the other closet they're the same size closet so there's no difference there but we're just going to use different closets for our clothes which is fine because I feel like there's no way both of our clothes would have fit in one closet Okay, we just got back to the old apartment. Basically everything is cleared out except for a few things, like our cleaning supplies. I need that to deep clean the apartment when I come back. I'll probably either, I'll probably do that Sunday or Monday. Our lease isn't completely up until Monday. And yeah, the movers are coming tomorrow. And I'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow, which will be move-in day officially with all of our furniture and the first night in the new apartment. So I will start a new vlog tomorrow. So stay tuned for tomorrow's moving vlog that I'll start and that will be up in a few days after you're seeing this. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future moving vlogs. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for move-in day. Aww.